wants me Ivan again. <coughs> so today we're going to be doing like the like the robot arms. So like, as you see in the build, it's pretty like it's a bit complicated. Like in the middle, you might get like a bit of mistakes. I might as well I like had a bit, but but after you're done, you should see how like the work you have done. So so yes, yeah, so this is today we're going to be coding it. So first. You have to connect your robot since my robot's not on right now, so I can't connect it. But it's so like, yeah, if you have it on, that's good. So connect it so you can try your code later and see the motor values, like all sorts, when we're doing the same. So now let's start, get started. First, uh, we need a, like a starting program script. So that's a when program starts, okay? And then we're gonna do um, my blocks and make an initialize block. It might be a bit hard to spell, yeah. No. Initial. Oh, I think, yeah, it's like this. So then put the initial block under here, and then we need it forever so we can run the code forever. And then, first, we're gonna just look at number of display. Where's the display? Display orange display information question mark. And then set status set status light to orange pulse. And then we're gonna set the we're gonna make a new variable called direction and set it to none. direction to none and then repeat until not direction is none so this is going to keep repeating until until not until direction is not none like that and then we're going to get an if actually we're going to have two ifs in here and then we're going to have sensors and then get a Is up button pressed, and then to the to direction to clockwise. And then we we'll duplicate that and set it to down. If down button pressed, that's gonna be. Counter clockwise like that. So now this is really going to do repeat until. So just don't mind that. As if it, it's going to keep repeat until not the direction is none. So if up button like the like your mind from like the Lego brick, if the up button is pressed, it would set direction to clockwise. Later we're going to use and set so then if it's down, then it's going to be counter clockwise and it's going to stop because it's not direction equals none anymore. So then we're gonna do some we're gonna set status light to off to know that we're already done this step. And then we're gonna go to sound sound and then place sound until that mechanical air release. And then display information accept. So we're gonna just display so that it's accepted the information. And then now set, we're gonna do like a C set speed to 65. Like that. So it's gonna just set the C motor speed to 65. I believe, yeah, it's the, uh, I think, yeah, it's uh, for the moving the grabber or the one, uh, I don't really remember, but you can, t you can see which one plugs which. And then we're going to do if direction, 
equals uh, clockwise Okay, it's not copying, so I just, and then we're going to display information forward. So we're going to like, we know it's like on the right side, because when you see the block is a, like it's not, it's on like a, it's like not, it's not really on the same direction. So yeah, display information, how about. yeah so and then we're gonna see three run motor run clockwise for zero point eight six five rotations it's a big it's like a small very small number that's a very complicated number too so just be aware not to spell it wrong and also it's it's a rotation is a mean it's the rotation like this be like a rotation like it turns like 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 a regular rotation turns 160 degrees 360 degrees but i don't know which is like if a rotation is like 100 degrees or something or well, here like it might be different but who knows uh if you know just send it in the comment and then duplicate that and then count and then put counter clockwise in direction and then information backward and be sure not to spell counter clockwise wrong. And move counter clockwise for zero point eight five rotation. So it's gonna be as like a yeah, a bit small, a bit like less complicated. And then we're going to be doing the animation blocks. This is lower R we're going to do. The close gripper. The raise arm. And that. So first we're going to be lowering the arm. And then, and then closing the gripper. And then raise the arm. And then we're going to just duplicate this if again. And the if equals like if equals this clockwise. It's basically like the same, but just switch it around. Because it needs to rotate back. And no like displacing. Like that. Done. So that's our basic script done for the moving and grabbing and all sorts, and all sorts of scripts. So then we're gonna let's see. Let's do the initialize since we that's the first block we edit. And then for the initialize, let me also grab like Studio Z blocks since we will be needing them. And then first we're gonna change that lower arm to raise arm, then a closed gripper, and then an open gripper. So it's gonna be like making like a the open gripper is a new block. Okay, so just be aware. So the open gripper is basically gonna probably like an animation to start like it's like they realize that it's actually working. As as I, I believe it is like that. And then we're gonna do C set speed to fifty. It's gonna that's how much it's gonna move. Fast like how fast it's gonna move. And then C start motor clockwise. Then wait until the one button pressed. So you might wonder, where is the one? You should have connected, you know. Like, you know, like, well, let me just go to the build. Let me show you, like, if I can show. Here. It did, like, on 49, this one. See this? That's, that's actually, that's the one. It's, it's the button. Remember, the color sorter is also detecting. So this is supposed to be pressing it. It can actually move around. So yeah, that's for it. Don't just get no of that. If you don't, like, really know what it's doing. Okay, let's get back to coding. And then, 
We're gonna see. We're gonna do a C start. Another C run counterclockwise for zero point six rotations. I mean zero point eight six. I mean. And then we're gonna now do the uh, lower arms into the, that step. And then we're gonna set. Actually, yeah, let's do a raise arm since so that we can actually do in this order. First, raise arm. We're gonna set. We're gonna do B sets B to fifty. And then B B set B set like float and stuff. I think float means like it will actually just glide a bit. Like um, like um, when you like after you use like in Minecraft, if you use a light trap, if you have played Minecraft, you should know like you don't stop when you're just using fireworks. That like the same that when you're not shooting fireworks, just stop in mid -air. The whole position just like. Uh, I think, yeah, I think it means, well, uh, it just stops immediately. As if you take off your elytra. So just think as that. And then, we're going to do B start motor ca counterclockwise. And then, wait until, go to center, and I get a three. Is, I don't know. Oh, wait, that one. Wait, let me go quickly. Okay, see, so three is reflected light intensity. Like that. You just don't do if ambient light intensity because it's pretty, like, it's pretty, like, similar, so be careful. And then we're going to just go into motor and be stop motor. So we're done the brace arm. So now let's do the lower arm. Home. And then we're gonna B set B to 20. And then B set motor hold position at stop. And then we're gonna quickly just get a P run clockwise 275 degrees. Yeah, and then yeah, pretty much done for this one. So let's go to the open gripper. And then I'm just gonna duplicate. It's basically the same except for the whole position. And then we're gonna do a set speed to twenty. I mean fifty, and then, and then, a run counterclockwise ninety degrees. It's gonna do like a straight. So it's just gonna just run ninety degrees after. And then, and then, we're gonna now we're done. So the, now we're this is the last thing we're gonna do is a close gripper. It's pretty much the same as the open gripper, but. So done. You can just duplicate the code from the open gripper because pretty much there's only two blocks still using the A motor. So we're gonna set speed to three for the close one. It's a bit slower. And then we're gonna A run clockwise for one second. Ah, uh, like you might get confused while you the degrees here and you second, but it's just like a. For instance, it's probably just like like a few calculations. Like that, so let me just clean up blocks. So this is so I'm gonna go through all the blocks today. So we're gonna in so the initialize setups to like like do a test run. I think for like you just open the closed grouper and raise arm so it's up in case it's down. And then initialize here. I mean no display. This is just the checking thing. Like when you turn and raise arm, lower arm, open gripper, you shouldn't just know from the code because it's pretty simple. So yeah. 
I hope you have a good day, everyone. And I hope just if you like the video, please subscribe and then click the like button. And then I think, yeah, we're going to end it for today. See you next time. Bye.